Hey guys, Psychic here, and welcome back to another episode of K Factory with me. Hello. And I'm back home because I remembered that I forgot to tell you guys about something. Uh, remember last episode I was talking to you guys about like the, the monsters dropping backpacks and stuff and I found a like really good enchantment book? I also got in one of them three slimy grass seeds. Which, okay, you might be going like, all right, so what? It's grass. It's a weird blue slimy grass. Why? The reason why I'm excited about this is I'm wondering, not positive, but I'm wondering if I get this, if it would possibly grow some skyroot saplings. I'm not sure if it's possible. I have no idea if it's possible, but I think it'd be cool. So that would help a little bit because we do need these in order to make a certain type of ingot, I believe. Because we need sky slime that will be used to make slime steel, which is, I believe, one of the ingots that we're missing for our creative capacitor, which, nope, is in the ultimate ingot. And I believe it's this. Yes, slime steel. So, that or I need to find the correct sapling. <laughs> so, I'm actually just going to grab, like, a handful of dirt, which I don't have to worry about making dirt anymore, because now I can go to the... Twilight Forest and get it. But I'm thinking, too, though, just for aesthetic purposes. So, like, our whole cave is, like, stone. <laughs> Which makes complete sense that it's stone and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm wanting to add a little bit more color to it. Now, we've thankfully gotten a lot of areas down here. And we're trying to expand this grass uh, as we go. Trying to make it more colorful. But I think this blue will add a, add a bit of tinge of, uh, like, magic to it. Which is funny. Egg? I don't know where egg came from, but it's kind of funny because we have like a bunch of magic stuff over there, but I want to add some magic near the water because I think that will add like a tinge of, I don't know, mystic, like why do we have perfectly good water running through this cave in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. It's because of the grass. Don't ask questions. <laughs> so I do want to just put in some of this. And I'll make it prettier as time goes on, but I just wanted to start, like, a good chunk of an area. Because if we do this, at least it'll spread. That is the idea, at least. So let's go ahead and get this going. And make sure I'm not making a mob spawner by accident. I made this area a little too big for the dirt that I had. One second. Let's grab some dirt. And then, once we finish this, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back to the Twilight Forest because we got a couple more mobs, a couple more boss monsters that we gotta get to. Ah! I'm gonna punch my mouse. It's getting aggravating. Okay, put one there, put one there, put one there. Yeah, so if this spreads the way that it should, I'm ho- where did my torches go? I must put them up by accident. But I'm hoping this will add, like, a nice... Look at that! Look, we got tall slimy grass. Also, if I run near it, it just spawns grass. Ooh, and ferns? This is gonna add, like, so much. So I doubt that this will make me a slap sapling. I have a feeling it just will not do that. But that's okay. I'm gonna let this grow. And hopefully it'll spread. I'm hoping that's how that works, at least. If not, I'm going to have to get a lot more seeds. And I don't know how to make the seeds. You don't. So, <laughs> we shall see. But let's go ahead and go home, throw the dirt away, and grab some torches. And then we'll head up to the Twilight Forest. Torch. How am I? Oh, I did a maze. I remember. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> so... We have three more monsters to get through. We have the Snow Queen, we have the Cindergast, and then I forget the name of the other guy. Exploration. Hydro Trophy. Or Urgast. I don't know why I keep calling it a Cindergast. Uh, Urgast and then the Hydro Trophy. So I'm thinking that we're going to do this in order that makes sense to me because I believe some of these are a little bit more difficult than others. Um, from what I've experienced in the past, I have not really struggled with the Snow Queen. I half struggle with the Hydra, and then the Urgas just takes so long. I'm not gonna say it's difficult, it just takes so long to do. 
So I think I want to kind of do this in the order that we did with the first three, with going from the Alpha Yeti, then the Minish Room, and then the Knight. I'm going to do the Snow Queen, the Hydra, and then the Urgast. So with the Snow Queen, she is in the middle of snow, which makes complete sense. So she is this way. So she should be in the center of this whole mass of snow. And she should be on top of ice, actually, if this will load. So let's see. Yes, there it is. So we need to get up there, which thankfully we do have a way to teleport. And also, penguins! <laughs> I want to take one of you home. I wish I could. And technically I could, but not right now. But isn't it so cute? Look at that. He's so cute. Okay, I put you down. So this is the Snow Queen Palace. And I also really like these blocks because I don't know if you can tell right now, but they slowly change color. Kind of like um, the Northern Lights. So I think this will be cool. Now, I'm hoping a lot... This is kind of like a maze, too. I don't think it's that bad, though. I don't know. I don't remember. So we're about to find out. Yeah, because all of these have these weird blocks. It's dark. That leads to nowhere, so we have to go this way. Maybe we could find some cool things and some chests or whatever. If need be, because I know she's at the top. I could actually just teleport to the top and break through, I think. But I'm hoping that this won't be that complicated to do in the first place. But we shall see. I'm immediately at a standstill because there's no stairs. Alright. I'm going to pillar up. Mm -mm. There's some stairs. The goal is just to keep going up, I think. As far as I can. Yeah. Ooh, that's a chest. What's in here? Ooh, Aurora blocks. I want those. I guess I'll grab maze wafers. And I can get an ice bow. Doesn't hurt to have. I'm not gonna use it, but it doesn't hurt to have. Let's see. This keeps going up. This is good. This is good. Hopefully it's the right tower. I don't know what that sound is. Oh, I'm finding monsters. Hello. Ice cores. Mm, mm, mm. Ow. Oh, you're over here. They drop snowballs. Interesting. Oh, and this is the height of this place. Okay, so this is not the right room. Hmm. Could break through. What's the tallest tower? Here. That's the tallest tower. So she should be in that, if that makes any sense. I'm not even sure if that's correct, but that's what my mind is telling me. She should be in the tallest tower. Break through here. Oops. Mm. Such pretty blocks. Gotta get up there. Alright. Up, 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 up. Okay. wonder why these don't have, like, a lot of stairs. I remember this being, like, very stair and parkour-centered. Snow Guardian. Hello. I've never seen one of you before. You don't do anything. But I guess that's okay. Ah, uh, she should be up here. Buried in her ice uh, prison if I remember correctly yeah, I think I'm on the right track I just gotta get up there Woo! okay that's not right <laughs> I gotta be able to actually get up there I gotta be careful when I break because I break through this so fast alright excuse me don't hurt me I did nothing I did nothing to hurt you. Oh, I'll take some water. That helps me. It's a good thing these guys are all ignoring me. Ow. One of them's not now. <laughs> there she is! Snow Queen! I don't remember how to fight her, so I'm just going for it. Eh. 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 You don't fight back at all. This is what I was saying. You don't... I don't remember you being hard other than you escaping through the ice, but you're not even doing that now. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> okay, that wasn't bad at all. Let's go ahead and move on into getting... Well, 
actually, let me put this stuff up. I have so many snowballs I don't need. Put all this stuff up. I got a tribo, ice bow. I don't need any of this stuff. So our chulker's almost full, though a lot of that is the whatchamacallits, the, 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 the shader bags that I don't really care about. So ta-da, we did that. And that gives us a power five bow, power five enchantment, which that's okay. Not the best thing I want, but that's okay. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and go over to the Hydra. So the best strategy to defeat the Hydra is to split the damage between her heads so that they won't duplicate. The most amount of damage can be made by reflecting projectiles to the open mouth. She should be in a fire biome, which is in the center of the swamp, which is why it's required for you to do the minishroom first, because if you don't eat the minishroom stew, or the meef stew, whatever it's called, you can't grant access to here, because it's very hot and it hurts. But this should be just fine. I just have to find the entrance, which I believe is over here. Yeah, there's the thing. I do want my bow for this, I think. I didn't mean to put a torch down. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and then we'll see how far we get. Hydra, where are you? There you are, girl. Oh, you don't take bows, I remember now. Oh, you take it to the body. Aha. You don't hurt me, I don't get fire damage. I remember the way I used to do this is I would just stand underneath her. This takes so long. Yeah. I got a frog leg. <laughs> how did I get a frog leg? Okay, so how about we just stand here? Because it did say the most damage is from the fireballs. Yeah, that does a little bit of damage. Not too much, but a little bit. That doesn't... I don't get fire. Who's gonna do fight? Hey. Fight me! Yeah, you fight me. See, bows don't work on you. Which is fine. But I, I need you to fight me. If that's the case. Hey, hey, hey. See, that did a bit of damage. Ow. That's not what I want. I guess I just wasn't close enough. Is that gonna be... There we go. Look at that damage. Come on. You can still do it. Come on. I want not flames, fireballs. Come on. Come on. That's flames. I want fireballs. No. Come on. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? Why are you growling like that? Oh, you went to bite. Fireball. 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 Come on. Y'all suck. I'm gonna do this. Ah. Y'all are annoying. Okay, this is working. Yeah, you just stay right there. It's fine. No, come back. Don't go down. This is doing enough. Come on. Oh, look at that damage. Look at me do this damage. Come on! Come on. Yeah, I don't care if you bite me. It doesn't hurt. I got netherite armor. Come on. Come on. Almost, almost, almost. Oop, I broke a head. I didn't... I did that. I didn't do that. Hit, 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 hit. All right, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I didn't want another head to grow back and make it worse. I cannot see for anything. I want out. Thank you. All right, I got the shader bag. I got the trophy. That's all we wanted now. And I got some fiery blood. And my reward is going to be some more fiery blood. What is fiery blood used for? Let's see. Fiery helmet. Oh, just to make some fiery armor. That doesn't... That's not too bad. Fiery ingot. 
Isn't that an ingot that I needed? Is that an ingot that I needed? Hang on. Fiery ingots used in the ultimate craft. Yeah, that's one of the ingots I needed. Awesome. Actually, we might almost have all of the ingots that we need at this point, but not quite. All right. Fill that up. That looks good to me. Put the fiery blood. Hydra chop. I don't think I need to eat this for anything. All right. Last thing. Now we have to defeat the Urgast. Now, the Urgast, it says, At the top of the tower, you will find an Urgast boss in four rooms with the gas traps. To activate them, you'll need to kill Carmenite gas near it. Upon activation, it will suck entities above it, so you want to wait until your Urgast is above a gas trap and then activate it. You can also heal by eating the smaller gas. I've always struggled with that. <laughs> so usually, I think I just kind of ignore it. Now, what's that up there? <gasps> Ooh, is this the... Mm, mm, mm. Is this it? Or am I... No, this is different, but that's okay. This is... What are you? Rainbow oak. I need rainbow oak, I think. Yeah, there we go. Rainbow oak sapling. This will be faster than the next. Yeah. Can I have some more? Thank you. I need this. So if our grass does not grow, this is what we need. It's the wood. No, it's just normal twilight oak. I don't need that. You can keep it. So this is what we'll use if we cannot get the slime grass to do what we want. Awesome. And this is orange. What does that mean for me? Just exploring a tad, if that's all right. Mm, this is a, oh, it's a spooky forest, kind of Halloween based. I don't know if there's anything in here that I particularly need, but it looks pretty neat. If I wanted some jack-o'-lanterns, I guess this would be okay. The wood's not any different than normal. So that's about it. I'll get string. Not like I can't get enough at home. All right. Well, we're wanting to look for... It is in the middle of the dark forest. You see this little building right here? This is what we want. Where... Should be looking right at it. There it is. All right. So it's a very tall building. And we could cheat see this a little bit if we wanted to by just teleporting to the top. But I do want to see what inside has in store real quick. Eh. Because I do like these doors. They're funny. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I just want to look around really quick just to see if there's anything interesting. Like, I'm hearing spiders. That's dirt. That's outside. Okay. Eh. So this is immediately- oh, right, there's stairs. So I was about to say, I was like, immediately a dead end. That's great. Hello, spiders. Or what are you? Carmenite birding. Can I hit you? Thank you. Yeah, I have the enchantment on my boots that gets things to not notice me. Well, that wasn't anything too exciting. There's a light here. Anything in the dispensers? No. Anything in here? No. Y'all are just going to keep spawning. I might take some of these. Because I'm tired of making books. There we go. I'll just take that. Put that here. Put that. Da -da. There we go. Okay, so we're going to make our way up really quick. I don't know what most of this does. It's supposed to be kind of like a um, parkour type thing, I think. I think. <laughs> Just hard to see with all of this. Like, this is just a bunch of nonsense lights for some reason. I go up. See where this goes. Alright. Alright. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, this isn't hard. Oh, that does one. Oh, is it because that's in the way? Yeah. Once we get to the top of this, I'm probably going to just start pillaring things. I just want to see what this is kind of like. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, no, it's going not where I want it to go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that was supposed to be done otherwise. Without breaking something. Alright, 
I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> There's a lot going on above me. Blazes. There's another wart. Don't need that. Don't need the blazes. Though I will. Break the spawner. Because that's annoying. You're setting the whole place on fire! Is there stairs? Yeah. Enderman. Let's see. I think I need to stay, like, closer to the middle in order to make my way all the way up. Yeah. Alright, so we are at the end of this episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and find my way back, or as much as up as I possibly can. This is outside, so I want to make my way to that section. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and find my way up to the top of this tower, and then we will fight the Urgast, and then from there we'll hopefully, maybe, possibly, try and finish all of the quests for the Twilight Forest. Because after that, all of it's really just finding a couple things, and it shouldn't really be that difficult, assuming that our map is covering everything that we possibly need, so. Yeah. There's a chest. Ooh. Cake. Red wool. Firefly. Yeah. Hey, that's a guest. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>